Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Narayana Online Classes, where we are going to discuss about the units and dimensions of seventh class in the subtopic dimension form and dimensions. Okay. Now, in that, we are going to discuss four assignment questions. First question. First question. Explain the method for finding dimensional formula. Explain. Now, explain the method. Explain the method for finding dimensional formula. For finding, for finding dimensional formula. Dimensional formula. Now, generally we have to follow four steps for finding dimensional formula. Now, step one. Step one. What is step one? Write the formula of physical quantity. Step one. Write the formula. Write the formula. Write the formula of physical quantity. Physical quantity. First step is we need to write the formula of physical quantity. Now step two. What we follow here is step two. Convert the formula into fundamental physical quantity. Convert. The formula into convert the formula into we are converting the formula into fundamental physical quantity into fundamental fundamental physical quantity fundamental physical quantity. That is step number two. Now, step three. Step three. What is step three? Write the corresponding symbol for fundamental quantities. Write the write the symbols. Write the corresponding symbol. Write the corresponding Corresponding symbol. Write the corresponding symbol for fundamental quantities. For fundamental quantities. For fundamental quantities. Write the corresponding symbol for fundamental quantities. Now, step four. Step four. Make proper algebraic combination. Make proper. Make proper algebraic. Algebraic. Make proper algebraic combination. Algebraic combination. Algebraic combination. And uh, get the result. And uh, get the result. Get the result. And uh, get the result. Now, question number two. Define dimensionless constant. Define dimensionless dimensionless constant define dimensionless constant 
and example also given. The quantities do not possess dimensional formula. The quantities, the quantities which do not, which do not, the quantities which do not possess a dimensional formula, which do not possess. Possess dimensional formula. See here the quantities which do not possess dimensional formula but have fixed value. But have but have fixed value. But have fixed value. But have fixed value. Are called dimensionless constants. Are called are called dimensionless dimension dimensionless dimensionless constant dimensionless constant, which means what? That is a constant, but they do not possess any dimensional formula, but they have fixed value. Okay, examples. See, example. Or we can write examples generally. Numbers, those are not fixed value. They don't have any dimensional formula, and as well as Mathematical constant that is with a pi also have some fixed value but they don't have any dimensions. Example numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. These all numbers have fixed value but they don't, do not possess any dimensional formula as well as mathematical constant. Mathematical constant. Mathematical constant like pi, etc. Pi value also are fixed, but there is no dimensional formula for pi. It is 22 by 7. Now we we'll go to the question number 3. Question number 3. Dimensions of time in force is dimensions of time. Dimensions. Dimensions of. Dimensions of. Time in force in force is dash. What you are asking here? Dimensions of time. That is physical quantity. In which physical quantity force? Now, how can you find out? First, you should write the formula. For force, force is equal mass into acceleration. Mass into Acceleration, mass into acceleration, which means mass means what? M into acceleration A, which is equal for mass units what? Kilogram. For acceleration units are what? Meter per second square. Meter per meter per second square. Now you know the units of each fundamental physical quantity. Now we can write for kilogram m for meter l by t square that is equal to m l power 1 1 power 1 t power minus 2 t power minus 2 this is the dimensional formula for force m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 but they are asking for time dimensions in dimensions are time in the force therefore therefore dimensions of time Dimensions of time in force in force is minus two minus two. Now we are going to discuss about question number four. What is question number four? Dimensions of length in volume. Dimensions. Of length 
in volume in volume is dash is dash now we should write formula for volume our answer is what volume is equal length into breadth into height breadth into height breadth into height this is the formula for volume of cube now as we know for length and breadth height of same dimensions like l into which means first we write units m into m into meter into meter into meter which means meter cube which is equal to l cube which is equal to what l cube now dimensions of length in volume is part 3 therefore dimensions of length dimensions of length in volume is 3 three lines now last question that is what the question is define dimensionless variable define define dimensionless variable define dimensionless variable variable which means what already we know that is dimensionless constant here what dimensionless variable which means the physical point do not possess any dimensions but its value is variable its value is variable no definition the quantities whose values are the quantities the quantities whose whose values are the quantities whose values are variable whose values are variable whose values are variable variable and they do not have dimensions and they do not have do not have they do not have dimensions they do not have dimensions this is our definition but variable values now example angular wave density example one is angular one more relative density relative density relative density x which means our angle is all changing variable and the relative density also is different for different substances but they don't have dimensional formulas thank you have a nice day students